My name is Patrick Kelly, and I grew up in Erie, Pennsylvania, a small city with a population of about 100,000 on the shores of Lake Erie. GE has been one of Erie's longtime employers, manufacturing locomotives. In April 2013, GE announced that they would be laying off as many as 900 workers, or approximately 1% of Erie's workforce. Erie came to be known as an industrial complex soon after the Civil War due to its location on the Great Lakes and Pennsylvania's only access to them. Throughout the two world wars, Erie's manufacturing grew and many new businesses opened up in Erie, including GE Transportation, now Erie's number one employer. Over time, many of these industries have either gone out of business or have moved elsewhere. The most recent to do so has been GE Transportation. It's a welder, welding on the platforms, beginning, beginning formation of locomotives. Okay. So. How long did you work there? Two and a half years. If he asked you, was I on it? Why do you think the company is performing these layoffs? Honestly, I corporate greed. I really, I think that's it. I mean, I think that's why they want to move to Texas is uh, said they're paying labor down there half of what they pay people up here, uh, if even half. And of course, this is all hearsay because I don't know for a fact what they're paying people down there. But uh, they want to cut their costs. I mean, they came right out and told us they want to cut their costs, you know, so they can be competitive. And uh, the union asked them, well, okay, if we take your concessions, are you going to lower the cost of a locomotive? And they said no. So how are you becoming competitive if you're not going to drop your price? You know what I mean? You're not. You're just chalking up more on your profits is all it is. Um, it was even on the news that, you know, GE reported record profits again at the end of 2013. So, you know, how are you not being competitive if you have record profits again? <laughs> this old hammer ring like silver. This old hammer ring like silver. This old hammer, good buddy, ring like silver, shine like gold, buddy, and it shine like gold. I know some of the stuff that they've been putting, GE was putting in the paper here and saying that it's all just the sandbag people to make them look like they care about the community, you know, we care about Erie, and they, they don't. They care, the bottom line is they care about how much money they're making. You know, if they leave Erie and their profits go up, they're, they're not going to even look back at Erie you know, contrary to what they say. But, you know, they also got to paint a pretty picture for themselves, you know. <laughs> Not getting any younger, I'm 56 now, so getting jobs at this age isn't quite as easy as it used to be, you know. I mean, a guy your age can find a job a lot sooner than somebody my age, because a lot of employers are looking and saying, well, you know, in six years this guy's ready to retire, we could have this guy for 30 years, you know. So it, it, it's, that's a big concern there, finding another job. Um, I've got it a lot easier than some of the other guys that got um, laid off. I mean, I live here with my sister and brother-in-law, so that helps a lot. But I know some of the guys that went out there, they've got two, three kids and mortgage payments, you know. So I know they've got it rougher than I do. So um, I know they also, some of them also have where their wives are working, so that helps them a little bit. But still, it's, you just cut the budget and get rid of all the extras. so sure I want to leave here it's always been home so I've got family in Maryland and Virginia you know I've got nieces and my sister oldest sisters down in Virginia so they're all saying come down here come down here so you know that that would probably be where I'd head because that way I'd, I would I would have better luck of finding job 
where people I know are and say, hey, you know, go here, go here, you know, rather than just going someplace blank and hitting the one ads, you know. So that and most of my family knows what all I can do, so they know what to look for too. So, so that would be a huge help if I did have to do that. It would be Virginia or Maryland. That, that's, that's a big concern there, finding another job. Um, and like I said too, with a lot of everybody leaving Erie, that all that's left here in Erie are smaller weld shops, you know. So, which you do what you got to do, but pay-wise, they don't pay the money. But I know nobody pays what GE does. Nobody in Erie, anyway. But uh, I, don't know, I think that's the biggest thing is getting another job. You know, at my age. Some, like Cass, feel that there is opportunity for my generation to succeed in Erie. Erie is my home, but I wonder if I could make a living here. I, like many others, may have to go somewhere else to find a job.